Cool it's typical horse shit when you're dealing with the Jones brothers. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. We didn't you understand that we're it's, a, it's an hour late. Well, you were an hour late to pick us up. But that doesn't. But one we wanted to eat. to do with the other. We I made plans to eat. Could have eaten at a fucking Family Express on the way down here. No. So you're gonna hand out sunglasses in here? This is not. It's open until nine o'clock. What kind of Nick idiocy is this fucking chocolate store? It was my idea. Ha ha. It's supposed to be a good restaurant. There are fucking good restaurants everywhere. Family Express is fine. And it's closer to the goddamn interstate. Jesus Christ. I just think, I think they don't have the balls to, to go into the Caribbean coast. Is my estimation. Astonishing stuff. It's just, it's simply not done. Fool's there. Yes, thank you, a major fool's errand. These guys, they're doing it on purpose. There's, there's no other way to estimate it or talk about it. I, I don't even, I'm not even putting the right words together at this point. <laughs> if people wonder why I want this podcast to end, shit like this. Man. Fucking restaurant. Stop at a family experience. Looks nicer than I thought. Looks fine to me so far. That's nice for daddy. Although look at that looks shit nice on the me. window splattered all over. It's like a it's like a Ray Victory cum shot. Think so far? Uh, I don't know, I just got here and I ate a whole pizza. You ate a whole pizza by yourself? Just about. I left a piece or two. I got the big one. And I'm feeling it a little bit. Yeah. And I don't know if these bathrooms are safe here. It looked kind of cool, actually. Like, like where the, how the rooms overhung the pool and stuff. It actually looked kind of cool. This might be a great vacation destination. <laughs> Plaster caster sort of uh, technology. I don't know, man. I'm a little weirded out. You make your way out to the stage. This is, this is something right here. You like that, huh? Ice, too close ice, to ice. It's gonna go off if I bites. I painted it black so it wouldn't be so big and as silver, but it, it didn't change the size. Uh, I, ne I never noticed it was as anatomical. Ah, look who it is. The voice of America, Andy Jones. My new pot of thunder shirt. We you know we just kind of rolled in here. It seems like it has a little bit more of an intimate vibe this year. A little more casual. Um, I haven't had a chance to check out the merchandise, but it does look a little bit more unique than years past. So I'm kind of excited about that because, you know, sometimes it's kind of got the vibe of like a TJ Maxx of Kiss stuff or something where it's just like stuff they couldn't sell or stuff with like a bad stitch in it, whatever. But this looks like we got some good stuff here. So we're going to take a lap around and then uh, I will show you my, um, let's call it booty, the booty that I find here today. What have you? That's like the hot new thing I've noticed. It's like the it's all cool over. for a bit, yeah. Yeah, the all over yeah. print on stuff. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, you could feel the print on the whole thing. I'd tell you to put them on and try them on, but no. I have gross. very clean feet. <laughs> for a man, you'd be very impressed with my feet. I don't know. I like, I, I, I have to say, I'm, that's the one piece of merchandise I'd like to go home with. I wonder how much that is. There's I'm just a random person who's never hey. met you before, but I was wondering where did you get that shirt? I was, was from, about to ask it's you. It's from tpublic.com. Oh, first wow. pot of thunder. I, I noticed you have a pot of thunder, Sean. It's pot of thunder. There's a podcast on iTunes talking about a different kiss song every week in detail. So if you need to burn an hour, nothing to do. It's free every awesome. week. There's like 150 of them. It's not that you have to listen to all of them, but you know. And you know I will because I got iTunes. There you go. <laughs> But thank you. You're welcome. Sweet. Awesome. I'm gonna check that out for sure. That's how we do it in the big leagues. Dolly. And you know what? Everything I said was true. 
which is why you can trust America's most trusted face. The uh, buffet area. Is this one of the, the I'm limits? guessing everything is at the same temperature as the food is when it's actually set out. Sir? Hey. There's a uh, cum stain on my bed that I didn't make. I'll look up for it. Sorry. I can't help you right now. Fuck. There's nobody working. Check it's like, what the... would be going on here if there was no Kiss Expo? Isn't there... The place is booked solid, but there's nobody at the desk. I kind of think... All the, com all the computers are off. <laughs> I kind of think they're like, yeah. This place yeah, is fucking weird. You man. guys could just have the run of the place. We don't care. Do whatever you want. A couple things I'd like to point out. These are the atrium rooms that reportedly don't lock. And also there's some kind of bizarre stain on this curtain. I also have some separation here where the frame was clearly kicked in at some point. We got some uh, scotch tape up here to hold it in place. The fucking potting green? Or it is. <laughs> or is that just a hole inside it? This is the hot tub that's barely warm, that sometimes has pizza floating in it, yeah, but not I today. Yeah, pizza floating. Four feet deep. It looks like there's a lot of patchwork going on on the bottom. Visible film on top. Uh, a variety of stains. You're all uh, jets, I guess you would call that. It's unbelievable. How about this kind of weird little setup back here? A little rape area or something? So. Hey, you're all the way in the corner. You got a fucking four piece patio table, three That's shitty plastic this chairs, is, this is privacy. and one wooden one. That's uh, Three guys extra. It must be the, the presidential suite. No, I just can't get over the how, how charming the location is of this top corner. Well, you have the best quote. It's the only thing it's good for is suicide. <laughs> We're creatures of the night. Give me danger. In one short hour, we are going to get the gift of a performance by Kiss Resurrection the premier KISS tribute band right here at the Indianapolis KISS convention. In a few short moments, we'll be speaking to Peter Chris. So I'm looking forward to that. And also, I heard he's listened to Pot of Thunder before. Did right. you get that? Yeah. KISS Resurrection. How do we find you? Your on website? Facebook. There you go. Definitely on Facebook. Go give us a like, huh? There you go. Do you guys ever do shows in the Chicago area? I personally have. I've played the hard rock there. Okay, cool. There you go. First, and as far as I know, now this was 10 years ago. Yeah. First and only band to blow pyro at the hard rock cafe really? in Chicago, yeah. Wow. They just told us don't blow our windows out. So they were okay with it? Yeah, well, we had to have like a, I don't know, a gazillion dollar insurance policy. Okay, fire marshal or something. And there was like, we couldn't have flames, but we could do like, like we couldn't do the. Like, but you could do an explosion. Yep. That's cool. And that's what we did. That's awesome. Yeah, it was all right. It was a lot of fun. Well, I remember sitting on my drum riser right up there on the wall on a big glass box was a uh, Paul Stanley Psycho Circus costume. Oh, that's cool. Right behind me up on the wall was uh, John Lennon's uh, suit, like one of his suits from the, uh, uh, the early Eagle. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I was like, fuck, that's dude. That's pretty awesome. Fucking legends around me. It's yeah. going to be a good time. So That's cool. <laughs> I sure am thirsty. Thankfully, this vending machine is here. Two bucks. You know, based on how parched I am, a Coke Zero is a bargain at any price. All right. What? What do you mean you can't help me? That's it. I'm gonna contact the mayor's action group. Dick. Chris got his drink earlier, mm -hmm. and it's, I mean, look, it's kind of squirting a little, it but he did it. It shot everywhere, and he, instantly, his reaction when something in a cylinder shape starts squirting is to go. <laughs> he got all the foam in. 
You missed it. I wish you would have been there. All right, we've heard about this from the reviews online. Beneath this plastic is the famous black mold, which is the worst mold of all. Somebody made a jack off on there. <laughs> we finally made it. We're going to see the famous water park at the Caribbean Cove. Open door slowly. It's like the Wizard of Oz when it goes from black and white to color. No, it's just Bob. Never mind. Well, this is disappointing. That's where the Calypso Cafe is. We can't even get to it. Yeah, we got to we yeah. Disappointed. What's back here? Right. All guests are required to bring towels from here. You got to bring your own towels. That's, I, I don't know how much more blatantly we can put that. You got to bring your own towels. Another landmark here at the Caribbean Cove. Inside this little vestibule here. First of all, I don't know what that is, but behind these bars is the uh, homeless shelter we heard about with the man sleeping under the stairs. Um, you can see his towel, his bedding, ample bedding, just as much as is provided in the rooms. And then also we've got the, uh, this place is very festive and they're very giving back to the poor. So here they've installed a water park for the guy sleeping underneath the stairs. Yeah, so he doesn't feel left out, there's a shower for him. On these very stairs that you see to my left is where um, reportedly a turd was found at one point, along with urine, which was reported to the front desk. And the front desk person replied, I can't help you. You made it. There's a bag. What's in the bag? Toilet paper. Oh my god. This really is bomb. What's on that? What's on that uh, towel? That weird stain. Dirt. Hmm. Unfortunately, and found no blood. Well, there could be blood. There's a roll of toilet paper in there. It's the worst place I've ever seen. It's astonishing. It's unbelievable. What? The little trim is missing. The window, the window framing, all gone. But it's a nice window here. It's a new window. New window, but maybe that's it. It's just upgrades. We tried to get into the water park, and unfortunately, it looks like it. According to the Yelp reviewers, were right. It's not open as usual. Now we're lost. I don't know now what it turns into. A I think it's just days that end in Y. It's not open. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. We're chipping off the lead paint. Oh. Monthly inspection 11 5 2014. What is it? <laughs> the breakers. I turn them all off. Maybe we could just cause havoc right now. Maybe they should really lock this. Oh, there's a huge hole in the wall. Oh. oh, it's all wet. God damn it. It's wet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope it is. It is smells. It is it burning? <laughs> it's burning. It's burning a little. It's feeling better already. Uh, Luckily there were no open cuts or sores. Does the 2016 Indianapolis Kiss Expo get the title of a Stone Cold Kiss classic? I say good. Good. Real good. Yes! Rich had to pee, so we had to pull over on the side of the road.
Gotta go. Stop it. You came close to a minute. It's unbelievable. Was it really? Yeah. I, I, I was actually starting to sweat. From peeing? Or from, from having, having to okay. you No. Know, I appreciate you guys stopping. Okay. That was like that bad. No. No, it's